This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Catfish Cichlid. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. 100,000 subscribers. Wow. How did we get here? I... Pff, isn't that something, Rapachi? 100k. Why don't you say something? Negative Nancy over here. Goodness. All right, I'm not going to say too much because it's going to be repetitive because I have a 100k special coming out for you guys. Face reveal plus the giveaway. Actually, the giveaway started now. You can actually go on my Instagram right now and enter for the giveaway. And it's by Buse Plant. Buse Plant is sponsoring this giveaway. It's a $100 giveaway to Buse Plant. Shopping spree. You can get whatever you want. This is amazing. I'm jealous because I want that for myself. But obviously, I can't win that. There is only one winner. And even if I did win, which I can't because that would be cheating. They do not deliver internationally and they're based in the States. So I'm sorry international fans plus myself. We're just gonna have to tough it out for this time. Hopefully in the future they will start shipping internationally. Definitely be on the lookout for that because they offer such high quality stuff. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, turn the notification thing, do all that jazz. And the official rules and entrance to the giveaway is on the Instagram at Chris for thought, so don't miss out. I think Rapashi likes this shoulder better for some reason. But they can't see you if you're over there, Rapashi. Why don't you why don't you go on the mic? Just go on the mic. There we go. You like the mic. Guys, even though we just hit 100,000, I have no plans to stop. I'm actually planning more and more now. There's gonna be more and more coming up. This is a really cute photo. I'm gonna take it right now. Uh, why do you keep posing such cute little poses for me during an FTR, man? Oh, and I started a new channel, so make sure to go check it out. Chris for Thought YouTube channel. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to talk about a lot of other things and eat a lot of snacks and do a lot of anime reviews and do a lot of talking there. So if you like that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Hit your boy up. Let's go. Light Squad support team. You know what it is. Notice gang. Not exactly fish fam. Now it's just Chris fam. <laughs> fish tank. Rip. What, you're going to eat my finger? Ow. Hey, view Bree Foster sending in this irredeemable picture. This was found at a local fish store. That's right. The local fish stores that we love and trust and shop at and give our hard earned money to for this hobby decided to put a bed of fish in less than 0.5 gallons of a little whiskey bottle. As far as whiskey or vodka bottles go, this tops it as the smallest. I think this is even smaller than the stupid Lego tanks. How is this possible? What kind of business are you running, bro? Get out of here. I think it's time to close down. Maybe, uh, maybe step aside for a real fish owner. Honestly, if you see something like this at any store, don't give them your business. Just head the other way. Just go. This is blatant fish abuse to the max. This is third degree fish abuse. Is that worse than first degree or I mean whichever one is the worst degree. Preemptive murder right here. And guess what? This is not much better. I was kind of hoping not to have to move this fish but he refuses to die. Imagine waiting for your fish to die so you can move. Now the table that you had that fish tank on was probably harder to move than that fish tank. What are you talking about? What about your piano? Did you move that? What about your couch? Did you... How did you manage to move your piano and couch and you can't move your one gallon fish tank? I know the fish will have a better time dying than living another day in that hellhole of yours that you call a fish tank, but it still kind of really adds a dimension of irresponsibility to yourself. Listen, just because you moved doesn't mean you can't move your one gallon fish tank. What is happening? What is logic? This is like IQ 500. You can move a whole wardrobe of your clothes, but you can't move a fish tank. You are a hilarious excuse of a human being. Holy crap. Okay, why did you say that? Why did you say it like that? Not pictured. Two crayfish and a common pleco. I don't, I don't even need to know that. I mean, yeah, it's the cherries on top, but look at that. That's even if I didn't know there was two crayfish in there and a common pleco. I mean, every night the crayfish is having like midnight taco snacks from Taco Bell, like late night Taco Bell runs, as in they come out at night and scavenge the fish that are trying to sleep in the bottom. They just whoop, that's dinner. Whoop, burrito. What do they sell at Taco Bell these days? Whoop, chili cheese churros. <laughs> this tank is sent in by Bridget Miss Kelly, a patron of Fish for Thought. Not bad, not bad. I like the live plants. I like that it's a pretty big tank and there's not really anything in it right now. They're gonna grow out nice and lush. All your plants are gonna grow nice and lush, hopefully with that nutrient-rich substrate. Those uh, swords are really nutrient-hungry, so make sure you supply them. 3.75 out of 5, keep it up. 
poor fishies. I had to google what magic serap is. I doubted that that was a fish food brand so I googled it and lo and behold it is basically seasoning. Salt, pepper, and onion powder. Something like that. I don't think that is the healthiest food choice to feed your fish. I'm willing to bet those fish are now dead. I don't know who's taking this picture, maybe the parents. If it is the parents, you guys are sick. You know that's not supposed to be in the tank, come on. This tank is sent in by Cole Schmidt. Very nice tank. You got the betta, you got some wood, you got all the live plants, some cherry shrimp, some neon tetras. Love it. Really nice stocking choice. The tank is quite big. I'm impressed that your betta is able to live with the shrimp. Rosé behind me destroyed my shrimp population within a matter of hours. At first she was okay and then I turn around and turn back around and there she is looking real happy in front of a dead shrimp that she just picked off. Looking at me like, hey are you proud of me? It's fine, I'm, I've moved on. Anyway Cole, this is great. 4 out of 5, keep it up. This tank sent in by Dapple Sap Daphne from the Netherlands. Very unique coloration, small tank, uh, maybe a little too small for the betta fish, but hey, you're doing it proper with all the live plants. The scape is quite nice, it's different with that coloration. There's no other organisms in with the betta, I don't think it's overstocked, but maybe just a tad bigger would be would be just perfect. 4.2 out of 5, keep it up. Those poor turtles. Whew. All right, well, you got the right idea. Yep, you got the right idea for sure. It's just that you have turtles in it and you have barf gravel, but that aside, mainly the, the turtles. I actually don't have a problem with this. It, it will look pretty nice if you just take out the turtles, replace the barf gravel with something more natural. Hey, we got a cute little like land feature sort of aesthetic like thing. You don't have to necessarily have anything living in it. Maybe even a couple of shrimp or snails would be nice. But turtles? I mean, come on. That's like getting a nice haircut. Saw this guy at a Chinese restaurant and he about broke my heart. Now you know it's pretty extreme when the fish that are about to be eaten at a Chinese restaurant are living in a better tank situation than the fish they're keeping as a pet. I've been to enough Chinese restaurants to know that their tilapia that are waiting to be chosen by a customer to eat, their tanks don't look like this. <laughs> Come on, that's incredibly... what? How is that possible? Who? Trust me, bet this tank is right in the front of their restaurant. It's the most appetizing thing to see. Is five stars Michelin approved, yes. Big tanks stress me out. I can only upgrade to 5 gallons. Why the F did you get effing goldfish then? Exactly my point. What the heck? Are you okay, sir? Big tanks stress you out. So then get fish that fit in a small tank. What? Huh? Rapashi, tell me, tell me why. What do I even say about this? How does... What is logic to these people? These flat earthers could definitely fit another one. JK, South Korean ambassador, left this little guy and others at the pet store to be looked after. They've been like this over a month now. Okay, when the South Korean ambassador leaves their pet fish with you to take care of, you, you better take care of it. Wait, no, that's North Korea. They're not... Yeah, they're cool in South Korea. What am I talking about? I've been to South Korea. They're cool. Oh, I missed the fried chicken. Found on Craigslist. Well, this is just the picture-perfect tank, isn't it? Five out of five. Wow, beautiful. Classic Amano Aquascape right here. Aqua Design Amano, wow. Fluval, take notes, okay? Oase, Oase, take notes. George Farmer, take notes, bro. Think you can do better than this? I think not. The Oscar's name is Roscoe. No. No, it's not. There's no Oscar in there. You can't. You can't troll me like that. That is obviously a supermassive black hole in, on the verge of becoming supermassive. It is it is one of the biggest phenomenons on Earth. It's going to be announced on Reddit somewhere. People are going to start noticing it. I mean, it happens. It's possible a black hole forming on Earth. Um, it's not going to be the best thing that's ever happened to us. In fact, it's the worst thing. It's going to wipe out all of humanity as we know it. It's going to wipe out our Milky Way galaxy system and probably a few galaxies around us as well. What can we do? This is reality. Isn't that right, Rapashi? We just got to make the best out of it. Anyways, not an Oscar. Sad face. 
Amazing, very beautiful gallon aquarium waterfall fountain water fountain making at home. Hey man, this isn't the YouTube tags location. This is your Facebook description. You, you gotta make a sentence. I mean, they're not wrong. It is a gallon aquarium. It is literally a gallon. I don't know about amazing, very beautiful though. Nice try. Actually, the most impressive part is that whoever took the screenshot, their phone is at 88%, bro. Tazor sent in this fish tank. Hey, it's all artificial decor, but you know what? You have two or three fish in there and it is not overstocked. It looks clean. It looks like you take care of your tank. Not the worst. Of course, I can't go past a 3 out of 5 for artificial tanks. For this tank, I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. Keep it up, Tazor. Hey, we've reached the end of the video, and guess what? You have just joined the end of the video, gang. Congratulations. Yo, I can see through Rapashi's ear? Like, I can literally see my hand, I think. Am I tripping out right now? Rapashi, is there a brain in there for real? Come on, man. Again, thank you for 100k. You're gonna be hearing me thank you for 100k quite a while this week. I'm sorry. But yeah, honestly, it's not me. I'm not doing any of this. It's you that's making it happen because I am just everyone who watches and subs. I don't if no one's watching, what? I don't, I'm not gonna have any subs. Zero. I'm gonna have zero subs. If you haven't entered the giveaway on Instagram yet, thank you for staying tuned into the video before going there, but now's your time to shine. Look out for the face reveal coming Wednesday. Super excited to do my face reveal. You guys might be confused. What, Chris, what are you talking about? Just, just wait for it. See you guys on the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. Don't forget to get your hands wet.